Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. But they hadn't been looking for you. Could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talius, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Marv, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Elod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. You and Ray, Daddy. Where are they going? To go inside the house. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Yes, Papa. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? You from Daggerfall, Breton? Fleeing from some court intrigue? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to High Rock. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and rest- For the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. 
Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperial. Can you say the same? As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Breton! There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next, prisoner. To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. Stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you. Stay close to the wall! Like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here, let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take Gunnar's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. All right, get that armor on, and 
give that axe a few swings. I'm going to see if I can find some way out of here. Ah, this one's locked. Let's see about that gate. Damn, no way to open this from our side. the key. Let's see if it opens that door. out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Done. Let's get moving. Freedom! Wait a second. 
Looks like there's something in this cage. Ah. Locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. Grab anything useful and let's go. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon! We need to fall back! You only help me Now! This ends now!
Wait! There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerda, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. But, Oh, hardly. I don't think even Ulfric could pull a dragon out of his pocket. Lucky for us it attacked when it did, eh? I wasn't looking forward to getting a shave from the Imperial Headsman. We'd better keep moving. I don't want to run into any Imperials. Now ain't this a surprise? No!
one there. Now, mother. It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Hoppus isn't too friendly to strangers, but you seem all right. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies.
My father is Alvor, the blacksmith. I'm... I need a practice. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Take a look. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Looking for a new blade? Today, I'm going to forge my own sword. What is it, woman? Spend drunk on the job again? Hod, just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? Ha. New to I'm Riverwood? Right if you're looking for work, Go see Hod at the mill. Of course. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. Oh, what's this all about? What are you two doing here? I saw earlier, flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been seeing things. You're right, I saw it, but how's that possible? Dragons don't exist. They're just stories from long ago. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Things just go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the south road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at
Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Ha! Huh. Another milk drinker crying about his effort. Glory only awaits those who triumph. And as companions, our glory must always be hard fought. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yorvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. You look strong. Come to Yorvaskar and be a companion. Man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. Suit yourself. Ride strong. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pine? My Aorland is the finest blacksmith in Scotland. I spend a lot of time at the market stall, so I can learn the merchant's trade. Say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgrup is not receiving visitors. Who's this then? Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. 
If the Jarl of Falkland will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Your brother is the Jarl. You know I can't question his judgment. I'm not asking you to defy the Jarl, just to open his eyes. Use subtlety and suggestion to turn his thoughts to the war. You're his steward. He'll listen to you. Leave me out of your intrigues, Rongar. If you have something to say to the Yarl, say it with your own tongue. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Yarl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. You are eager to begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. This Off is to a Bleak priority Falls Barrow now. with you. The Anything we can not use to fight man. this dragon, Neither or dragons. Come to think of it. We need it quickly. Before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Valgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Falls Barrow. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Brigands I can handle, but this talk of dragons? World's gone mad, I say. Yes, House Court. We'll leave immediately. It's just us against the dragon. Is that it? I can't afford to send anyone else. We don't know where the dragon is. Your main job will be to keep an eye out and get the people to safety if the town is attacked. I don't expect the three of you to fight off a dragon by yourselves, but I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. We can count on it. Let's move out. Time's a-wasting. This war is as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Mane. What do you need? What is it? Dragons?
What do you need? Staying safe, I hope. to end this little game.
to get lost. Close. down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Sweet breath of Arke, thank you. Coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with you? Never should have come here.
You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Until next time. <laughs> You see? The terminology is clearly first era or even er- Ah! The Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow! Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. I'll see you at the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered. You shouldn't leave weapons laying around. Someone could get hurt. If I see you doing it again, that someone will be you. Have I made myself clear? See that it doesn't happen again. I've seen you helping the Yarl. If only all visitors to White Run were as noble. <laughs> The guards in Dragon Street say you aided the yard. On behalf of Whiterun, I thank you. Children! 
Your very lives? And what does the Empire do? No. Good luck. May I hope you get there in time. The That's some fine Imperial armor you've got here. Mister, could you spare a coin? Just one gold? Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. It's... It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... Since Mama. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. Really? Do you... Do you have a place I could live? Oh, well... Thanks anyway, I suppose. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Yorland Greymane's got the hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. to protect yourself or deal some damage. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Let's go. We need to get to the...
signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. still here somewhere. Corky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Here he comes! Find cover and make every arrow count! In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. It's born. The dragon blood in them. Like old Tybus <laughs> I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. We're causing no trouble. Oh, 
descended from the dung of mortality. And now, walk among the stars! Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? Not just the men. The Greybeards seem to think the same thing. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any You've of this mean? You've done a great run? service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this... what? Dragonborn. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Lead the way. He's been did it. You killed the dragon. Riding in the field of our own corruption. You're the best. Can you be my father? <sighs> Damn those you brain names to oblivion. Oh, they want to back the storm cloaks and don't forget what's oh, coming. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. We will pay good money for information. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. She cannot hide from us forever. You have news of our quarry.
duels win. Come here. I bet we have rabbit again. I'm getting sick of rabbit. You'd rather be blood than me.
steps again, Kermit? Not today. I'm just not ready to let you fly. Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. I am Master Angia. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. You have shown that you are dragonborn have the inborn gift. But 
Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Wind, guide you. Breath. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Hear the word within your 
before you can project it into your throne. Approach Master Gordon and he will give you his wound. through before it closes. Stand next to me and prepare your whirlwind sprint. Come, Dragonborn, attend to Master Bori. Mastery of a new Thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Sky above, voice above. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. I can't wait here forever. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to right run from all Rorik. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please. You are new to Mortho. I've not spoken before.
thralls of yours are slower than Argonians in a blizzard.
never seen anything quite like that.
Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. We know you are the false Dragonborn. You shall not stand in the way of the true Dragonborn's return. He comes soon, and we shall offer him your heart. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Turn up the dragonborn? You're that I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. The war keeps most folks away these days. I'm right behind you. You lead, I'll follow. So you're the Dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me. Close the door. You're not afraid of me, are you? Close the door, then we can talk. Now we can talk. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Surprise? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere.
I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. <clears throat> like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeards sent and not some Thalmor plant. We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You are the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? This is no time to play the reluctant hero. You either are or aren't dragonborn. But I'll see for myself soon enough. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynes Grove. Kynes Grove is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. Wait, so a costume? By the gods, it's yes. true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked White Run. <laughs> How could mere men bring Three down branches, such a beast? Paint them white and then tie them to stump. Instant frostbite spider. Frognar, nobody's gonna believe that your dog is a frostbite spider. And if they do, they'll kill him. That's not much of a prank. Oh yeah? And what would you rather do? How about we play tag? Hear it. If my analysis is correct, Kynes Grove, there's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Come on, we've got to get to Kynes Grove.
There's been talk amongst the guards. But you are dragon. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Are you feeling ill? Hello, friend. In the market for some... What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. Thank you very much for your business.
retrieved the horn of Jorgen Winkle. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da, which means push. Da. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now gift you with his knowledge of Da. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Hrothgar is open to you.
something's wrong. No! You don't want to go up there! A dragon! It's attacking! It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon burial mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Come on, hurry. We might be too late. Come on, we need to find out what's happening. Look at that big bastard. Keep your head down and see what it does. some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion, the ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. Nothing solid, 
yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Mm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Time sure this time. If you're looking for passage to Solstar, sure. Yeah, that's me. Why? Who sent you? Now hold on. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know they were going to attack anybody. I don't even know how I got here. It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. Sorry about your troubles, but I've got to look out for myself. I'm not going to risk it. Hold on now. I'm just a simple sailor. I never wanted to get mixed up in any of this. All right, I'll take you. But we leave immediately. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here.
The Northern Maiden is ship-shape and ready to... I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. So that's your plan, huh? Even if you could survive, by the time you got inside, whatever documents they had would be long gone. We're there for information, remember? Trust me, I've been doing this for a long time. My way is better. The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellen Wendt, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Sounds good. Be careful.
If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ritter. They can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Hmm? Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. You're asking me? She promised that she would. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move Good. quietly and kill. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. You can't go to a... ...at the Thalmor Embassy. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the Embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information you need. Good luck. Ah, a fellow latecomer to Ellenwood's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. 
My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually... Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. I prefer to arrive early. Offer to day before the party. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thumb. I tell you. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elinwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam tell me Ambassador, more about yourself. So what brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? Last time it was this it's cold just that we've saw. run out of the Alto wine. I have Do myself. I have your permission to uncork these? Of course. I've told you before not to what bother me with such trifles. That yes, I think Madam of Ambassador. It, I did hear My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. What can I get for you? You made it in. What can I get for you, sir? Of course. Let me see if we have another Some bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. And Captain Safia couldn't afford the repairs. Of course, she would never admit such a thing. Captain Safia is far too proud a woman for that. What is a f what does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. I think on it, I did hear something rather interesting the other day. Apparently, wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Some say the ship suffered. Is that all, my friend? You've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Woman for that. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? What can I, I get for you, sir? All right, then. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Helen Wynn, our nice. mistress. What are you doing? I speak figuratively, of course. Uh. Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although... So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malburn? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is a... Savani? I didn't realize that he... Moon... There was per... Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Out to prove that he's the equal of Yorlin Greymane. It's not really a fair comparison. Ask me. Hurry it up. All, I've got to get back before I'm missed. Good luck. You see those robes? You're on your own this morning. Who are they Never with? Have come More of the emissary's treaty enforcers? Yeah!
What was that? one there. Anybody there? Hmm. Nothing here after all. Oh, please. I don't know anything else. <laughs>
I told you. I don't know anything else about it. Fine. Whatever you want. Can't you just kill me and get it over with? There's this old man. I've seen him around Rifton. I don't know where he lives. I don't know his name. Yes, he matches the description of this Esburn guy you're looking for. Maybe it's him, maybe it isn't. That's all I know, okay? What? Who? What? What do you want, then? Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both yeah. die. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Silence, I'm dead already. Come on, Move. this way. Slow. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. He's got to be here somewhere. If you like, but we need to find a way to unlock that trap door. Never should have come here. It's a... Now you're mine. Just a scratch. Victory's yours, I submit. Two. I saw guards dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. Let's get out of here. You didn't have to help me, so... thanks. You didn't have to help me, so... thanks. made it out alive, at least. Your gear's safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Esburn? He's Is alive? He I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. <laughs> that crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esburn was one of the blade's archivists, back
back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the Blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. I need some more ale, Ornar. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. I'll find some You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. Until then, He's no well connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. <laughs> Hmm, there's no simple answer to that. You want the long version or the short version? Whatever you need. My smear if it's simple and strong. I... Settle down to have children. Right. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to hide. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow. Take a look. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step.
Got horses that need shoeing, so don't mind if you do. What's your price? That would work, except you ain't got. Mm-hmm. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Gates unlocked. You can head inside Take my, my red eyes. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. Don't say something you'll regret. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for him. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Suit yourself. I'll be at the docks if you change your mind. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. Are you feeling when you sick? Followed, you said you'd pay it back on time for double. Septum, I'd be grateful. Yes, I hope this helps. You gonna buy something, or just here for training? Otherwise, I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. Edda, you know well I barely have any coin to call my own. I'm sorry. <laughs> See for yourself. I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. Never done an honest day's work coins. in your life for all that coin you carry, hey lad? Ah, oh, expecting free information, eh? Help me deal with business first, then we'll see how I can help you. Besides, you look like your pockets are a little light on coin. Am I right? Passing on a golden opportunity is worse. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under a stamp. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. this time. Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. 
That's what you said about the Wisp Essence. And it turned out to be crushed Nurm root mixed with water. Well, that was his understanding. But this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Falma Blood Al- Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and only. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste of time. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have waited. Fresh meats and produce. Get them before they're gone. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Huh? Looks like I chose the right person for the job. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. Gems, potions, exotic ingredients, I have them all. Jewelry with legendary to tell about it. All right then, let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Vegetables as crystal winter's morning. Bubbles and gleaming gemstones Protect yourself over here. Right. Buy armor from Grelka. Why take a chance? Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Is someone there? What was that? I knew it!
it up, Brynjo. Those days are over. If you're looking for conversation, this the flag is different. We've all heard that one You'd before. You'd better have coin to pay for Quit your drinks. Yourself. There's no handouts here. Huh. Lot of old guys around. I don't really know how I can help. That's a touching story. Now get out of my face! Oh, a bit of this, and a bit of that. Lot of old guys around. I don't really know how I can help. Well, when you put it that way, I think I do know the old guy you're talking about. He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Hardly ever leaves the place. Has someone bring him food and such. Crazy old coot from what I've heard. For that to stand out down here, he must really be off his nut. Until next time. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. <clears throat> Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. Yeah, I bet I know your guy. He's hiding out in the Ratway Warrens, paying us good coin for nobody to know about it. I'll be here when you're done. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Is someone there? There's the blade! <laughs>
Their fires lit up the night, all across Lake Rumere, like stars come to earth. It was beautiful, really. I'm gonna eat well tonight, my darling. <laughs> That's not me. I'm not Esprin. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, how reassuring. Most likely you're with the Thalmor. And this is just a trick to get me to open the door, huh? Delphi? How do you... And this is just a trick to get me to open the door, huh? I told you to go away. I told you to go away. I'm not opening this door for anybody. What's that you said? Dragonborn? Then there really is hope yes, after all. Now. You'd better come inside. Quickly now. No more agents have been seen in the ratway. Bucket. Knife. This'll just take a moment. Stone. No, no. This one always starts. There we go. Only a couple more. There we are. Come in, come in. That's better. Now we can talk. You, dragon. Is it really true? Important. Far more than even she realizes. If you are dragonborn, then... Then there is hope, after all. For so long, all I could do was watch our doom approach, helplessly. Dragons, pah! They can be killed. The Blades killed many in their early days as dragon slayers. No, the dragons are merely the final portent of the end of days. Oh, yes, the prophecies make clear the signs that will precede the end times. One by one, I've seen them fulfilled. Alduin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Alduin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. You're right, I forget myself. I've lived without hope for so long. The prophecies are clear. Only the dragonborn can stop Alduin. We must go, quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. Give me just a moment. I must gather a few things. I'll need... Uh, no. No use to trash. Where'd I put my annotated annual? One moment. I know time is of the essence, but I must leave secrets for the Thalmor. There's one more I must bring. Um, well, I guess that's good enough. Let's be off. Huh?
Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Meddling in the Salmon's affairs. It's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too. Let's see what Esbern has to say. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. Let's see what Esbern has to say. Now then, I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragonborn, indeed, yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose, so we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come, let... You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple, Alduin's Wall. One of the lost secrets of the Blades, where they recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries, but I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blades' archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. This is what I've been trying to explain. It's in the Skyhaven Temple, an ancient blade sanctuary hidden deep in the crags of the Reach. That's where we'll find Alduin's Wall. So you think that Alduin's Wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the Reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Karth Spire in the Karth River Canyon. We can meet you there or all travel together. Your call. From Riverwood? The road south through Falkreath is the most direct route. Or you could catch the carriage from Whiterun to Markarth and then approach from the west. Either way, the Reach is wild country these days. The Forsworn are everywhere. Best be careful. Always, 
Let's go see if we can find this Sky Haven Temple. We'll meet you there. Be careful. That part of the reach is rough country. Too lazy to walk. Don't mind if you do. What's your price? Did you Sold. She's already, she's already saddled up. All right then.
These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You had the symbol for king and warrior, and of course the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. That's it. The symbol on the pillar on the left. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see oh. what those old ways are. Be 
Here's the blood seal. Another of the lost Akaviri arts. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered Reman Cyrodiil? Second era Gavir sculpture and relief. Hesburgh, we need information, not a lecture on artists. Yes, yes, let's see what we have. Here, the humans rebel against their dragon overlords, the legendary dragon war. Aldrin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory. 
mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the news of Alduin. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? <clears throat> You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax.
path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Follow me. I will show you how to open the path to Parthenax. I have a voice with it. Grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Hmm. 
Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. No! Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Timvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovahkiin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove. The dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Ruza, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Pause. A fair answer. Rofus. Maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Now, I will answer your question. Mm. 
Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Yes and no, Viknus Nikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jor do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly. Elder Scrolls, as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. So far, Suryek. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. Zoom Ark Mora.
once spoke to Parthenax. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? And so be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Sky, guard your I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm close. We haven't taken a side. Nope. Sorry.
spells all day. Greetings. Welcome to the If it's true, and you do have the voice, would you mind showing me? Uh, <laughs> be careful. So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic. But you... I think there is much that we can learn from each other. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, Apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. What we do have are plenty of books. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? And what do you plan to do with it? I knew it. Everyone comes in here expecting my help, but they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. 
To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. Ah. You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about... Wait. Are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. All right, then. Oh. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. I don't Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well... He's been gone for a long while. Too long. Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but well, that was years ago. Ugh. Haven't heard from him since. In the top level. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. <laughs> the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. 
sequestered. But I cannot go to it, not poor Septimus, for I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Here. Well, here as in this plain, Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Oft-hand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged. One round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. Imaginations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know.
the thirsty, food for the hungry.
just get out of here. Hasn't there been enough done? Just so you can have all the glory for yourself.
You have it. The Kel, the Elder Scroll. Teed Krech, Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is... Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the Wolf Akrin, die now in vain. Day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? Battle below goes in. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. Why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Golfo, Sori, Birka. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise I will have him. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain by the lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, no, I will not need it. We will it. deal with Alduin ourselves. Hear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Let those that watch from Savengard envy us this day! on this age and send you out! You are banished! I'll take you out of all our endings up to the last! You are banished! It worked. You did it. Yes. The World Eater is gone. 
May the spirits have mercy on our souls.
have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Yes, one of his allies could tell us, Matmahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Look, Thum. Gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. There must be another way. The risk is too great. Alduin, the world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons. And this war into the park. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep.
Baldwin? We heard the Dragon Wren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Aldwin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to town. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? That's what everybody says. Right up until they find their throat being ripped out by a pack of hungry vampires. If you change your mind and decide to join the fight before it's too late, talk to Ezron at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Riften. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands open. It's not much to ask. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Fletching suits me. Sorry, it doesn't matter how many times you ask, but a well-made arrow strikes for you. You might want to rethink that. You're missing out on some wonderful opportunities. Heard they're reforming the dawn go- No lollygagon. If you need potions, head over to Angeline's Aromatics. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Right, Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Fine. Why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack Speak with Legget Ricca. Sheep, the Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. 
That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day. For a dragon to attack Kynesgrove. Why? Why there? There's no place safe. I made my fortune as a seeker, but now I'm retired. Algrim won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. I remember you. We've intercepted you were at Helgen with us. Solitude. Come to join the, the war. Speak with Galmar. He handles the new run. recruits. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Galmar. What does bring you to me? It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. Men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here.
Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomatic here, here. Special. <laughs> I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe. Nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. <clears throat> She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly... No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to We're here to resist. arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, I'll this is outrageous. This. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Mm. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. What would the Empire character. want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough! First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you help the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Galmar was right. 
talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire! Let's go, Garmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Aldrin has returned, the World Eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with that? If he's right about Aldwin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it mead. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Hjalmarch to us, and take Idgrad Ravencrone with you. Sorely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Morthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorli the Builder assuming the Jarl ship. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Dalmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you I'm are afraid familiar there's a, with the Dragonborn. A serious plan. one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. 
But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen, but it is written here in this scroll. Oda Ving, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Yes, ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you screen this trap. But the difficulty remains how to endure a trap. Hey, did you say something? Very good. Another wanderer, here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Where? May the gods watch over your back. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Another wanderer, here to lick my father's boots. Good job. <laughs> We're ready when you are. You. You have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah? Alduin, hmm? 
No doubt you want to know where to find Alduin? Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin, Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your Thuum for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Vindoran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um? Serve you? No. Need id. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Onikan Korav Gain Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Sir, you have no to tell the Gra- You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Your funeral. Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragon Lord's plan. Hold the boss. Was du? Bin ich dein Rufe erstmal? Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dove will only increase. Amativ, mu bo kotin stinselok.
This is as far as I can take you. Grief both Akrin. I will look for your return. Or Alduin's.
escape. Know the way. I'm weird. What brings you way far away? A faithful errand. No few have chafed to face the worm, since first he set his soul snare here at Sopnar's threshold. But Shaw restrained our wrathful onslaught. Perhaps deep counseled your doom he foresaw. No shade are you, as usually here passes, but living, you dare the land of the dead. By what right do you request entry? Ah, it's been too long since last I faced a doom-driven hero of the Dragon Hunt. Living or dead, by decree of shore, None may pass this perilous bridge till I judge them worthy by the warrior's test. Fools! Hold on! Shore's favor follow you, and your end. Welcome, Dragonborn. Our door has stood empty since Alduin first set his soul snare here. By Shaw's command, we sheathed our blades, and ventured not the Vale's dark mist. But three await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Gormlaith, the fearless, glad-hearted in battle. Hekon, the valiant, heavy-handed warrior. Feldir, the old. Far seeing and grim. The three await your word to loose their fury on the perilous foe. 
At long last, Alduin's doom is now ours to seal. Just speak the word, and with high hearts, we'll hasten forth to smite the worm wherever he lurks. Hold, comrades. Let us counsel take before battle is blindly joined. Alduin's mist is more than a snare. Its shadowy gloom is his shield and cloak. But with four voices joined, our valor combined, we can blast the mist and bring him to battle. Feldir speaks wisdom. The World Eater, coward, fears you, Dragonborn. We must drive away his mist, shouting together, and then unsheath our blades in desperate battle with our black wing foe. To battle, my friends, to field, echo the clamor of we war, our wills undaunted. Prevent. Once more, and his might will be broken.
They will sing of this battle in Shore's Hall forever. This was a mighty deed. The doom of Alduin encompassed at last, and cleansed his sovereign guard of his evil snare. They will sing of this battle in Shore's Hall forever. But your fate lies elsewhere. When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again with glad friendship and bid you join the blessed feasting. When you are ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. Return now to Nur, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. A shout to bring a hero from Sovngarde in your hour of need. for all others, and has always been. Happy? No, I am not happy. The Mahi lost on Dul Bormahu. Alduin was once the crown of our father Akatosh's creation. You did what was necessary. Alduin had flown far from the path of right action in his Pachlok, in the arrogance of his power. But I cannot celebrate his fall. Zutiraz Ach Ochma. He was my brother once. This world will never be the same. Clearly than I, certainly more clearly than Alduin, Roch Funta Kora. Perhaps now you have some insight into the forces that shape the Venesitid, the currents of time. Perhaps you begin to see the world as a Dova. But I forget myself. Crosis, Solos Mifadon, Melancholy is an easy trap for a Dover to fall into. You have won a mighty victory, Sahroch Kondrach, one that will echo through all the ages of this world for those who have eyes to see. Savor your triumph, Dovakin. This is not the last of what you will write upon the currents of time. I feel younger than I have in age. Many of the are now scattered across Kizar. Without Alduin's lordship, 
they may yet bow to the Vaxen. Brightness of my food. But willing or no, they will hear it. Fare thee well, Dovati. I will come if I can. 